Hey everyone, this is Brett from eBike Escape. Uh, today we are going to look at some of the accessories that I've added to my Rad Wagon since the last video and update you with some of the settings that um, I've uh, now grown accustomed to on the uh, bolt-in controller. And if you are looking to purchase any of these accessories that we're going to go through or a Rad Power Bike, please consider using the link in the description as it supports this channel so we can put out even more content for you. All right, let's get to it. The white bike is ours and the orange one is my brother's. So thought I would do an update. A lot of you have been asking about the settings for the bolt-in controller. So we're gonna talk about that. But I thought it would be fun to talk about some more upgrades just quickly um, before we get to that. Some of the things that my brother has done here. You can see that the cable management here just looks excellent. And I'll put a link to everything we talk about in the description below in case you're interested. So cable management looks really nice. You can see here, here's the stock red wagon. I haven't changed anything on this, but you can see the cables are just kind of everywhere. And with the front rack, it just makes it a little bit more difficult. So I have some work to do there. Uh, my brother added the Rock Brothers top tube bag, which is a really nice place for storage, especially if you have a cell phone, because while you can mount your phone up here, it's nice to put it in a bag that is waterproof in case it starts raining. And then we did talk about when we did the accessories video on my brother's Rad Wagon 4 that the nice thing with the board here is that you can put a bag on top. So that's what he opted to do. Again, this is a Rock Brothers one. You could probably go with something a little bit bigger. And then underneath is that controller, which we have covered. The other thing that I'm going to do a video on is this alarm and my brother decided to purchase it it's by WDS cam it's on our e-bike accessories list which will also be linked in the description it's really nice similar to a car where you can just lock it and then any movement will set off the alarm very similar to how you'd lock your car okay and then the last thing that I thought was worth mentioning a lot of people ask about trailers on electric bikes and we have a burly and I'm going to be releasing a video on how that can attach to certain electric bikes but here is an allen sports kids trailer and you can see that my brother was able to modify this slightly and clamp it to the rear of the rad wagon for there were some modifications that were needed because this bar usually swoops around to connect right around here on a bike so he had to drill some new holes and then he bought an adapter to make this work so some customizations needed but you can make it work on the rad wagon for so just in case that's interesting to you and now let's get to the bolton controller settings that he is personally using now we are not experts on this i've just had a lot of people ask me what settings are you using on your bolton controller so we thought we would go through this and talk about why certain settings are the way they are and we'll go from there all right i'm gonna fire up the bolt-in controller here, and then I'm gonna push the up and down arrow keys so I can get into all the settings. So um, I'm not gonna go through like every single one of these settings um, because the, the two um, that I most care about are the ones that modify um, the wattage that's going to the motor um, as you're moving. So um, the first one is the C5. So the C5, um, if you watch some videos, they'll recommend just setting this, I think, to maybe 0, 0.2, um, which basically means it's somewhat unrestricted. It's kind of a slow step start, but then it's basically unrestricted. It'll put all 1,500 watts in. Um, you know, I don't want to burn out my motor since I just got this controller. So um, what I've kind of decided to do was set it to 4. So basically the numbers here, the way it goes is... Um, if I think it's like a higher number, like a 10 or something like that, is pretty much full power. Um, but if you step it down, then it's basically a percentage, like it's max power divided by 1.25 you know, or 1.33 or 1.5, or, you know, it basically just kind of steps down um, with these like ratios. And what I found is if I set it to the 0, 04, so with the 0, 04, I'm, shooting for around you know just a little over a thousand watts maybe like 1200 or so for max power so whenever i use throttle or go into pedal assist five then i'm going to get that um like that 1200 watts which i think is, is plenty i don't need more than that for what i'm what i'm using the bike for um 
Now, the only issue with that is that can really mess um, with your pass settings because if you set that really low, now your pedal assist one is gonna be um, a much lower wattage than maybe what you're used to. So the way you tweak these settings is you play with the C5 value and then you tweak the C14 value. So the C14 is basically how much power um, it's going between the pass levels. So for instance, if you have a lower number here, it's doing a um, like a weaker ratio between the different paths. So think of it this way. If normally, maybe with a C14 setting of two, let's say normally it's maybe 50 watts in paths one, with a C14 value of one, which is weaker, maybe it'll go from 50 watts down to like 30 watts or something like that. And then with a C14 value of three, which is stronger, it'll maybe go from 50 watts to maybe 100 watts or something like that. So between these two values, I've been able to kind of tweak it for what I like. Um, I do still change it every once in a while, but I think I'm pretty happy with what it is right now because what I'm aiming for is about a 700 watt power output on pass four. And then pass five is just always um, unrestricted. It's just max power. Um, so if I hit about 700 watts in, in pedal assist four, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, and then the ones below that, I think pedal assist one, um, I think right now I'm hitting, you know, upper 100. So maybe like 180 watts or something like that. Um, and then it's just kind of spread evenly between um, the different pass levels. Another thing that really helped me configure these settings was I was able to find an instruction manual that was in English. The translation's not perfect on it, but it did go through each of these settings in a little bit more detail than what I found online through some YouTube videos, and it helped explain a few settings that I had questions on. So that'll also be linked into the description if you want to download that. And as far as how long I've been using this controller, um, you can see on the settings here, um, I'm just about going to roll over 200 miles. Um, and I am still using the stock motor. Um, I know the true 750 watt um, uh, motor is out there and available. And I've seen you know plenty of videos that go through how to install it and things like that. Um, but I think for me, since I'm still getting a lot of life out of the stock one, and especially since I limited somewhat of the output, um, I'm going to keep using the stock one basically until it dies. And um, if it dies, then I think at that point, I'll look at my options and see if I want to replace with a 750, most likely. Um, but I guess I'll uh, take that when it comes. I hope you found this video educational and helpful uh, if you have the Bolton controller or if you're looking to add it. Um, if you don't have one yet and you're worried about install, uh, we have you covered with a video that goes through the installation. If you're considering purchasing a rad wagon um, or any of the other accessories that we've gone through on this video, please consider uh, using the links in the description as it uh, supports this channel so we can do even more content um, for everyone who's interested in these bikes. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.